All right, so this is for Ariel. Um, the big thing that I think you're not understanding is kind of how to foreshorten things. <clears throat> and so when I look at this, and I took a snapshot of a artist buck here um, model, just to kind of give you the idea and the understanding of foreshortening. But when I look at this, um, the, ultimately you want to have some sort of um, kind of understructure, okay? And I think that's where you're missing your 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 biggest uh, biggest kind of proportion things here. So when we do this, like you've got the head down, and I'm just gonna kind of sketch the head the way you've got it, and then you want to build up kind of the rib cage, and so the rib cage is. <clears throat> the really kind of uh, part of the key piece. So the first thing is your rib cage, which you've got in the right proportion. But <clears throat> excuse me. Then you, what you're doing is you're not understanding where to put the the um, kind of the spine and everything else. And so think about the spine as like a curve. And then we're going to kind of build out this here. Okay. And here is where you're going to have kind of an indent and then this cir uh, circle shape here is going to need to be a 3D shape. So we're going to kind of build out that 3D shape like so. So you can see here that <clears throat> that 3D shape built out changes the format of your character. And then with that what you want to do is is start getting the idea of how things are kind of attached to this this uh, system here. So here um, and here are your major major kind of attachments. And as we go here, you have to realize that the the shape is fine, but the problem is where you're putting the the information. So here is your knee, and then you 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 have basically kind of the straight uh, kind of drawn out, and instead. Think of adding in kind of more of a, a back facing here. And so think of it as kind of building out this shape back here. And then what you're going to do is you can see that, so you can see how small the, <clears throat> the figure's feet get towards the end. So you want to really kind of force that, that out. And then on top of that, when we pull out this here, again, you don't have that feeling or that sense of of kind of construction. So if you block it out, so here's your kneecap, and then your hip here kind of go, or I'm sorry, not your hip, your your calf here kind of goes forward like so. And so you can see here that again we have that foreshortening, and then things get a lot kind of more defined. So you need to get the underlying structure going on first. Here, same thing. Again, shoulder ball, shoulder ball, and then you're you're again pushing this downward. So if you're pushing this down, what you need to do is block out the individual shapes. And so you can see here again, we're going to block out that individual shape. And so you need to basically make this area here shrink down as you go further on. And then again, I'm just going to kind of block out this rough shape here. And then here, we want to block out this shape as well. And because this is more uh, in line with the camera, it's going to be longer than what you've got going on. And then again, <clears throat> adding in that rough shape. So you can see here the, the ultimate difference between the two. So when I block that out, you can start seeing how this feels a lot more kind of relevant. And then as I start building out those shapes, like so, and you know, cleaning up and, and kind of adjusting accordingly, those shapes are basically kind of in, in kind of um, a congruency with each other. And so, again, just blocking out those shapes helps a lot of the time. And so you can see here that just giving it a little form and giving it a little bit of kind of emphasis on how you're blocking out your shapes um, makes a significant amount of, of difference. And you can also, you know, we can, we can see that the hip 
comes out here, we can pull back some of this a little bit to kind of trim down some of this, this uh, um, um, buttocks here. And so ultimately, just start building out the important shapes. And I kind of measure like so, so, so building out those important shapes are going to help you out, all right? And so you can see how that blocking of the shapes is, is giving me kind of that definition of where things are lying and kind of how they're laying down. And even if I'm just kind of drawing dimensional kind of contours, it's still giving me a lot more kind of um, landmarks than what you've got going on. Um, also look at your muscle anatomy. There's like you've got a muscle striation going up here that doesn't look right. And so when I build this further, uh, when I would, I would do this further like so, and build on top of it, now with this the way it is, you can see that, that as I build this character out here, and just blocking out, you know, the nose, and like so on and so forth. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna rough out the hair, ear, do the, the windy hair, like this, collarbone, shoulder, and you can see as I do this, just, just blocking out it like so, with the, the process shapes underneath, and it, even if you're, you don't have digital, and you're working with, you know, just pen and paper, going with a harder lead will help you out will define your kind of process. I'm going to get this a little bit. Again, spend more time on the, the simple shapes and just kind of defining. Alright, and so you can see here, and we put in the, uh, the rib cage. <clears throat> comes down, hip, and again this is you know without actual photo reference so photo reference would give you the majority of what you need to really kind of sell the piece. And, you know, as you do this, you don't have to be perfect about it. You just have to make the adjustments that you think work for um, work for what you're doing. And so you can see here that by using even a simple dowel as a photo reference, I'm getting a lot more kind of the angles in place. I'm getting a lot more of the, you know, the character set up, and I'm getting a lot more of the perspective in. And I think that's ultimately where you need to kind of go with this and, and kind of build on top of that. And so then, you know, you can build out the other details. Like so, to give your character what it needs. Alright, so I hope that helps.